some things that go into uh, you know a good gun crew. Um, you got to be motivated. Uh, artillery, it's uh, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of heavy lifting. So you got to keep your boys motivated. You know, you got your gunners, you got your ammo team. You got to continuously train, uh, even when you're not in the field, to become that well-oiled machine. Uh, once you achieve that well-oiled machine, then you know everything falls in place. Slow, smooth, smooth, fast. When we get the fire missions, uh, what it is is you got your forward observer team. You know they're out in the impact area or uh, on the OP. Um, they're the ones that called in, so they get on the radio. They'll call into our uh, fire direction center. Uh, from there, the fire direction center will take the information that the forward observers give them and convert that into data. And once they convert that data, then they will send that data down to the gun line. That's how we get our charge, our propellants, what fuse we're using, the ammunition we're going to be using and that gives us our deflection and quadrant for the gun, which deflection and quadrant pretty much, that's how we point the cannon to. We shoot that and uh, that makes the rounds land exactly where they're supposed to. Being an artillery man is uh, very serious to me. My brother, uh, he enlisted right after me. He was with the uh, infantry unit 2-8. Um, they were deployed to Afghanistan the same time I was deployed and uh, we actually supported their unit in, in combat. And so to me, I take it very seriously because it's my family member on the other end of the gun line. And uh, when they need help, that's where we come in. We give them the help so they can get out of uh, whatever sticky situation that they might be in.